Hey, thanks for watching. So, right up front, disclaimer. I am not an electrician. Disclaimer. I am no EV expert. Disclaimer. I do love a good old fashioned. But to the point, I'm just a guy who happens to own a Tesla Model Y who has on rare occasions sometimes found that the mobile connector cord is just not quite long enough to reach that electrical wall outlet. So I wanted to share with you the extension cord that I use to bridge that distance. Now the specific Tesla mobile connector that I'm talking about is the Tesla Gen 2 model connector that uses the NEMA 5-15 adapter. That's the one for the typical household 120 volt, 15 amp electrical wall outlet. Now, to be clear, if you pull up Tesla's mobile connector Gen 2 owner's manual and you scroll down to page three, you will see, warning, do not use an extension cord. And that makes total sense. The Tesla mobile connector cord has got this really heavy duty cable that allows for some really high current to pass through this bad boy, which is of course what you need for charging up those big EV batteries. Plus, the longer the cable you have, the more resistance you're going to start encountering, which is going to in turn lower your current. So there's a reason this Tesla mobile connector is 20 feet in length. So with that information in mind, let me tell you what extension cord not to use, okay? Do not use your standard household extension cord. This is not designed to handle the level of power needed. It will overheat. It will catch on fire. This is a dangerous option to use with your mobile connector. So if that kind of scares you shitless, good, because it kind of scared me shitless. I didn't want to set my car on fire. I don't want to set anything near my car on fire. I don't want fire in the charging equation at all. So my research finally led me to this extension cord. This is the Southwire Polar Solar 25 foot gauge outdoor extension cord with lighted plugs. Now I'm going to show you the link to the Southwire website that goes to the specific model number of the extension cord so that you can read more about it. I purchased this extension cord at the Home Depot for about $62. You can find it at other retailers for about the same price. Now the extension cord is rated at 15 amps because that's the type of plug connector that's on the ends and that's what you're going to get anyway with the type of plug that's on the Tesla mobile connector. And finally, this is designed for outdoor use. It's incredibly heavy duty and durable. It's rated for an extreme temperature range and the plugs light up on both ends to let you know that the power is flowing through it. So that's pretty cool. Now we went to a campground in Florida uh, at the start of the summer and we rented a cabin and where we had to park our Tesla, it was just a little too far away from the nearest wall outlet to plug in the mobile connector. And we used this extension cable for almost two and a half days straight. It was plugged in charging the car. And if you know how hot it gets in Florida, especially in the summer, I'm telling you the cable never even got warm to the touch. So that was pretty awesome. Let me take you outside and I'll show you the extension cord plugged up to the mobile connector, plugged up to the Tesla. <laughs> I forgot the cord. Okay, we've got our Tesla mobile connector, our extension cord, and our Tesla. Let's get them hooked up. Okay, we've got our extension cord plugged in. It's daylight, so it's hard to see that the plug has got a light on it, letting you know power's running through it. And if we follow it out, we'll reach the Tesla mobile connector. It's probably hard to see during the day, but the Tesla lights up green when it's working. And then that is leading towards our Tesla Model Y. And you can see our green T letting us know the car is charging up. Let's take a look inside and we'll also see that the car is getting the standard 12 amp charge which is no different than if we just plugged it up directly to the wall outlet without the extension cord. Thought I'd give you just a quick close up showing you what the plug looks like when it's lit with power running through it. Well, I hope this video has helped you out if you've been considering getting an extension cord for your Tesla mobile connector. As always, thank you for the likes and subscribes, and I'll see you next time.